Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Donna Sue. Hi, Luann. Hi, Trace. Hi, Sheila. How are you? Hi, Sue. Thank you. Thank you, Luann. Hi, Dana. Hi, Margaret. Joy, joy. Our friends are saying hi. It's so dark here today. It's yucky. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Hi, Leona. Hi, Julie. How's everybody doing? How is your weather? Like it, I, I'm thinking it's going to rain, but it looks like it's about like, you know, that half hour before it gets super dark outside. That's what it looks like outside right now. Ah, thanks. <laughs> See my necklace? Hi, Miss Edie. Um, so that's another thing. Don't forget, y'all, um, tonight at 4 o'clock Pacific, 7 o'clock Eastern, Miss Monica and Steve will be on my channel. And so we'll have Team BFF over here. Hi, Sharon. Uh, today's going to be a little wild and crazy. Uh, somewhere, somehow, some way, um, through osmosis, I guess, um, Trevor thought he told me that today <clears throat> he needed to be picked up from school and he needs to be taken back to night class, which I didn't think I needed to pick him up until 7.50 this evening, my time. So instead, Right after the live, I've got to fly uptown 45 minutes to go get him, come back, launch Monica on my page, and then dart off while I'm still live with her, dart off to the other town, drop him off, and then come back. It, oh. <laughs> Hi, Beth. Yeah, Sue, that's one way to put it. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Carrie. Um, I'm not freezing on my end, Julie. I have me on my phone, so you might need to go out and come back in. <clears throat> one good thing that happened this morning, y'all, is um, I woke up to a email from uh, Miss Natalie at Totally Dazzled. Guess who has an affiliate with Totally Dazzled, finally? Uh, hi, Teresa Renee. Me. So that is in the description. Teresa Renee. So that's in the description. If you guys are looking to find anything, um, that's in the description. Teresa Renee, can you please tell me when Soft Touch is coming in? I get messages every day. got another message this morning. I was like, uh, soon, soon. It's coming. It's coming. Please don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Hi, Judy Slocker. Thank you, guys. Yeah, so um, it is in the description. And if you guys use it, I'd really appreciate it. Hi, Debbie. How are you, my friend? Shared the chaos. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Sharon, yes, please. <laughs> I know, you guys, and every time I use it, I like duck, duck and roll, duck and roll, duck and roll. <laughs> Hi, Teresa Cherry. Okay, so um, yesterday we, um, Teresa didn't even answer me. She was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> she's, she's talking about soft touch. I'm out of here. <laughs> Trucy, you used it yesterday. It is awesome, right? My camera must be crooked because this is straight and it's crooked. Onyx, are you all right? Oh, you're trying to get into your toy box. Wait, this is straight. There we go. Juicy, juicy. Thank you. Okay, so yesterday, of course, yesterday um, we put the trim on. This was just a mirror that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, we put the trim on. I did finish painting the inside. Hold on, y'all. Hi, 
Hi, Alan. But it's one of those days, y'all. On y'all. Ooh, Lordy B. Hi, Angel. Were you able to get the Black Hope bracelet from Monica yet? Were, were am, Was I able to? I don't even know. if. I mean, I told her I wanted it. I don't know if it come in. I ordered. I had her reserve one. Hey, Angel. How are you? Okay, so um, I did go ahead and do the... Um, and all of this is in the description. So I used the Posh Talk Metallic, the Brown Van Dyke. And I also used the Aqua Patina Blue Prussian. And I put that through there. So now, y'all, what I'm thinking about doing is, because remember, I kind of wanted her or him to be a little angelic, right? Um, I will be watching Monica for support. Hope to be able to restrain my... <laughs> Yeah, so so what I'm thinking is we're we're, we're gonna do is use the uh, metallic paste in the white titanium, but then I also want to put the shimmer glaze, the pearl white, on her, and then we'll figure out how to give her some dimension after that. Yes, thank you, Angel, because it's gonna be wild and crazy for sure. So again. There is one thing with the mirror that I'm not happy about. I don't even know if you guys can are going to be able to see it on screen. But because the wood was whitewashed, right, up underneath the back of these, in the mirror, you can see a little reflection of the whitewash. Yes, I know. I'm strange because I am all up in my project like this. So I will get in there and I will actually take care of that underneath. When you're looking at it straight on like this, you can't see it. But I see it, so I will fix it. Hi, Annette. So good to see you. Wild and crazy is your middle name. <laughs> so we are going to take a little bit of the white titanium. And I'm just going to scoop out a little. goes a long way with the posh chalk, okay? So I'm going to scoop out a little bit of this onto my plate here. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix it. You can mix it with water. You can mix it with their, um, their pigment infuser, whichever you have. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Barbara Ross. I figured you would do that the other day. I knew you would notice. Oh, you talk, you, you mean this underneath? Yeah. So can you guys see it then? You guys must be able to see it then. Oh yeah. Y'all know I can't leave it like that. Y'all it will drive me bananas, bananas. And I, it certainly, it would be one of those projects that I'm like, you know how you don't see something in my auction. <laughs> Cause I, Again, unless somebody knew that it was white, they probably wouldn't even notice it because you have to be at an angle. But I see it, and you know if I can see it, somebody else might, and I, I just can't let it go like that. So I will definitely, I will get up under there. The reason why I didn't do it yet is because obviously the mirror is going to get gonna get paint on it right and then i'm gonna have to get a blade and get it off which is no problem you guys know i'll just use the same blade that i use for my desk but i didn't want to do that all right now i was wondering if you could remove the mirror no i can't i mean i could but i'm, I'm i don't want to destroy it all right so i'm going to get kind of a a little angled but a little firmer so i can get all into the crevices of this so this is just the white titanium i know we did paint it with the waverly um plaster but you're gonna see this is going to give just a little bit of that shine from the tight white titanium and then we'll go in um we will go in and 
do that shimmer glaze, which I think is going to be beautiful. Yeah, I need tonight after the day I had, had to take care, take car to shop and yeah, 400. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, <clears throat> car problems are no fun. Um, no fun at all. Very, very pricey, especially if you've got to take them to a shop. Thankfully, I don't have to do that. It's something I can't fix. It's usually got one of our friends that have the equipment to to work on it. But yeah, car car expenses for fixes are never never fun. It's like one of those where you it pains you to have to pay for that kind of stuff. Hola, Ari. Good evening, Jill. Yeah, so I was, as I was paint when I took the tape off yesterday, the blue tape, um, that's the first thing I could see right away was that little bit of white <clears throat> reflecting in the mirror. And I went, yep, that's not going to work. We're definitely going to have to paint, get up under there and paint that. So another thing that I'm going to have to do, I ordered some metal um, dowel, dowel rods because this little guy is super heavy. So although I'm going to put him on with heavy body gel, <laughs> you know, heavy body gel is amazing, but let's give it a little bit of help, right? So I am actually going to drill these holes a little bit bigger. And um, because you can drill into, would you be I'm going to drill two dowels into the side here and then to put the dowels through the back of the angel and into the um, wood of the mirror. So that way it, you know, we don't have any problems with our angel trying to take flight or anything. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sheila Teigen. Hola, Susana. Saludos. I'm going to watch you on TV, via YouTube, but I wanted you to know that I'm here. Okay. I'm lucky as well. I'm married to a mechanic. Yeah. See, Barbara Ross, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just, it's, whew, it's not an expense that I, you know, just, well, Trevor's friend, you know, her transmission went out and that's not a, you know, that's not an easy, easy fix. Uh, the labor hours alone on uh, fixing a transmission <laughs> is, you know, is high. So, yeah. All right. So now I'm just going to get into, there's little, I'm either going to get, I'm going to stand up because I'm either going to get my shirt in it or something else. Y'all, oh. yesterday, you know how I was painting the frame black first? And I had it on my plate. Well, I kept telling myself to move the plate. Move the plate, Terry. You're going to stick your arm in it. Move the plate, Terry. You're going to stick your arm in it. Did Terry move the plate? Uh-uh. Did Terry stick her arm in it? Uh-huh. <laughs> so I ran over, got my awesome cleaner. And I sprayed it. And I thank goodness for uh, told that the awesome cleaner because... I swear. I kept saying, move it. You're going to stick your, you move it. You're going to. Next thing I know, there went my arm. Okay. So as you, I don't know if you can tell, come on down. But now she's got a little bit of shine. So it's not flat anymore. You excited, son? It's not flat anymore like it was from the mat from the Waverly. So I'm going to just dry it a little bit and then we will pick her up and make sure. Hi, Jackie Bates. How are you? You don't listen to yourself, girl. <laughs> Did you see poor mess? No, I didn't. Hi, Veronica. 
How are you, Veronica? All right, let's use dryer so I can make sure I've got all the nooks and crannies. Then we're gonna pick up the um, shimmer glaze and get shimmer glaze all over her. I did bring out the precious um, 24 gold metallic paste and I think I might brush it with that as well. We'll see. Oh, wow, that's not good. Not good. All right, so if you were, if you came on a little later, I was sharing my news that I have, um, I received my welcome letter from Natalie personally, which I thought was pretty cool. So I do have a totally dazzled affiliate. So I thought it would be just, if you guys, some of you know what had happened. So, and I, you know. Um, so let's do a little, something a little fun. If anybody uses my Totally Dazzled affiliate, um, let's just say within the next two weeks. So what's today? Let's say by, by the Sunday, February 11th. If you use my link, send me a little message and I will put together a fun little happy mail kit for you of some of those molds that I received from yesterday that I shared with you guys, some totally dazzled pieces and some would you been pieces. So if you use my link, just send me a little note and then we will do a special happy mail for that. Just to kind of say, yep, I'm here. Yes, absolutely, Veronica. Every single day I think about you and I say little prayers for you and all of my friends. Because I'm casting those molds anyway, so I might as well share. So. <laughs> oh, Angel, you would love it because you could put them in your craft stuff. You would. All right, so let's dry this a little bit again. So now we're just going to take this shimmer glaze and we're going to just kind of brush it all over and wipe it back. And then I think I want to go ahead and take my favorite antiquing paste, the Umbra, and give it where it would naturally have shadows. We will put the shadows in. And then maybe we do at least the, I know, I want to do something definitely to the wings. We'll see. Wrap Ryan sounds for when I wake. Oh, yes, Angel. Yes. Uh-huh. I have some of those that I still need to use. The um, Okay, so this is the Shimmer Glaze. And I still have you guys in pretty close. So that way you can see what's going on. I'm just going to take a soft cloth, the reusable cloth that I get from the Dollar Tree. And oh yeah, you see, even though it's white, a little harder to see. Oh, my word. And then what I'm thinking is maybe we take those colors that we put in the frame as well and kind of bring them into the angel as well. Oh, that's so pretty. 
you know what? We also do have this shimmer glaze in gold. I'm thinking we might pull that out today. Hi, Brenda. How are you? Hi, Becky. So good to see you. Okay. So I'm just kind of using a big brush, putting it all over. I'm not going to worry about wiping this back so much because I actually really like that effect. Can you see that? So I'm just using this as a paint, but you can certainly put it through your stencils. You can use it, you know, for any, like just dry brush it on a little bits and get your high points as well. That would be really pretty. Oh my goodness. But the reason why I want to go in with some Umbra is, as you can see, if we put her on the frame, it's, just, it's right now too stark white, right? Hi, Colleen. How are you? You did already, Drusy? All right. I will put you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a list because that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cast. Because I'm going to cast extras of all of those molds. And I'll put together a fun little pack of, like, Would You Been, the Totally Dazzled, the Prima molds. I'll probably throw in some something pint art, too. So it'll be a fun little Happy Mill goodie bag. I mean, I think all of my goodie bags are fun. But this one will be, like, a good, good one. All right, let's bring you out a little bit. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. The shimmer glaze in the gold. So let's put in some of the umbra and give it a little bit of depth just to bring it so that it's not so stark white. So totally dazzled. So what I'm going to do is, um, actually it was given to me in Happy Mail, Colleen. Um, what I, I was given um, a totally dazzled affiliate this morning. So what I'm doing is anybody who uses it, it uh, I'm giving them until February 11th, Sunday. So when I come on on that Sunday, because, you know, I usually do Happy Mails on Friday. So we'll do a special one that Sunday for anyone who's used the link. And that will be a special little um, goodie bag of the new Prima castings that I got yesterday. Some Totally Dazzled, some Would You Been. All right. So I know that this is always scary when you you know, go to put the umbra in because you, you know, it's like, no, what are you doing? You just ruined everything. <laughs> but have no fear. What this is going to do, so we're going to now take our cloth and we're just going to now wipe back and let it stay where the shadows would normally hit. And if you can see, that pearl is still coming through. But now look at, can you see the top? How now it's starting to come together a little better to be put on the frame rather than just the bottom half? Hi, Debbie. How are you? The link is in my description. Um, Hi, Kimberly. Is, he sure is. You know why he's quiet? Because he just emptied out his whole box looking for something or another. So this is my link. Um, hold on. So if you guys are 
looking for the Totally Dazzled link, I will give it to you. So, yeah, if you use my link, just send me a little note that says that you did so, and then I will put you on that special wheel that we'll do on Sunday. So that one will be specifically for that happy meal. Okay, so I'm going to get my brush down in there and in through that, which is really killing my brush, but that's why I use brush guards. Okay, and then I'm going to take my cloth again, and you can, you know, if you wanted it darker, just apply it again and then wipe back again. Okay, and I'm going to stick this in through the little hole, wiggle it around, and then pull it back. So we still have all that beautiful pearl coming through but now it's bringing it more in line to our frame. Okay, so let's get this little area, gotta So again, he's pretty heavy. I keep changing it from a him and a her, but you know. <laughs> um, he's pretty heavy, so that's why I'm going to use those metal dowels and put them through both. So that way, if somebody did hang this, they wouldn't worry about this, you know, crashing down. And then I'm going to get my fluffy brush and get where I can't. And his little thingies. And then in his detail of the wings. It matches better than the stain. Than the stain. So again, let's get in here. I don't want to miss any of the little crevices because then it's going to look, you know, kind of strange. So okay. Get his little feeties, his little toe toes. Okay. And then let's wipe that now with that now. Hi, Mel, how are you? Right, and then once again, all of these places that I can't get to, I'm just going to use my soft, fluffy brush to wiggle, 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 and get, because I don't want any, you know, clumps of the umbra sitting anywhere. And then I always wipe my brush off. All right, so now let's see. See, we're getting there. So now he's not so stark and it's not, you know, like, whoa. All right, so we've gotten that on there. Got a little bit too much on his neck. Okay. 
So, actually, you guys know what this. I'm gonna put this. Let me put this down. In my luck, it's gonna hit something. Okay. So now let's come in with the shimmer glaze, and I'm just going to use just. I'm going to almost dry brush it just to pick up like some of the tops of like the hair and the wings. Oh, it might be raining now. Okay, so now I am going to take a little bit smaller of the stipple brush. I'm going to get a paper towel. And again, oh, that's pretty. I might not even wipe that back so much. Can you even see the gold in there? So I'm just coming in now just to like the high points of where his, his hair is. Okay, Leona, I will put your name on there as well. <laughs> You have a heat wave in Winnipeg. Whoa. Thank you, Julie. I will definitely get you guys on there. Thank you so much. All right. So can you guys see the now the gold that's on there? And then let's do the wings as well. I'm going to come up this way so it can pick up. I want to do the back of it as well. I'm trying to decide if I want to put it all over him. I just might. I was only going to do the wings in his hair but I'm kind of liking it all over. You're going shopping? Be right back, Becky. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> all right. What do you guys think? Do you think we should put it all over him? I'm tempted, y'all. No, you guys are having a hard time seeing it, but it in person, it's gorgeous. Hi, Monica. Wings, hair, and fabric. Okay. Hi, Monica. Are you ready for tonight? I'm sure you've been up <laughs> getting all that bling ready. So if you came in late, you guys will have seen that I had had an event up. And I'm I will be back tonight with Monica and Steve, Team BFF. So I'll be back tonight at four o'clock Pacific, seven o'clock Eastern, and Monica will be showing you the butterflies and some of the other stuff that you guys had requested, whether it be, I don't know, whatever you guys said, bracelets, rings, earrings, whatever you guys had said. She's got it all ready for y'all. It's going to be amazing, fun. And don't worry. I'm not going to cheat or anything. I'll still be on my phone ordering as usual the way that we're supposed to. 
I didn't get try to get no, any inside info or anything. Hi, Rennie. Monica, are you serious? I'm so sorry, Monica. Jeez, come on already. What on earth? What is wrong with people? I'm so sorry, Monica. Oh! <gasps> I don't, oh, I don't even know what to say to that. What on earth? What on earth? Jeez, come on. I hope so. Hi, Wendy. I hope so. Y'all, gee, my knees. What do you think, y'all? Look at, can you see now? So now, now that we've done it, you can see that there's only got a little a hair stuck on under a little hair on his chinny chin chin. Um. I've got a little hair stuck on his chin. Hold on. How is that stuck on his chin? Like, it's really stuck. <laughs> but I know. I agree, Sandra. It is sickening. We will have fun tonight. We will bring you some much-needed laughter and love. But, man. So, um, yeah. If you guys can come over and show your support tonight whether you're purchasing something or not that's not what you know um but if you all can come over and you know just show some support that would be amazing all right so we have now our angel with a little bit of gold, a little bit of white, a little bit of shimmer, glaze. Let's now get our frame. Yeah, it's so funny because I thought I was just going to like blow, you know, blow it away. But it was like stuck underneath his chin. <laughs> so now let's put him on here and take a look at that. Do you see how now not so stark white it just kind of ties it back together so much better wow. it is right so what do you guys think does it need anything else do we need to like do any diamond dust on the inner part of the wings here and the top part here or do we leave it without the diamond dust And do we need to bring any of the blue Prussian into his the fabric? Because that was the only other thing I was thinking about is bringing in some of the blue Prussian just kind of lightly into the fabric. Oh, thank you, Becky. You guys are awesome. I'm good, Amy. How are you? Well, on the frame, y'all, and it's kind of funny because it's even before I was um, I was given my link. I was thinking about on all of the little like circles, I wanted to put some rhinestones so that they would, um, 
you know, that they would sparkle if any of the light hit it. I think it was, was it this one or it was this one? It was this one. So what I was thinking about is putting, so number 10 is the coffee color, but if you look at the coffee, it's closer to like the frame, um, the brown, the va brown Van Dyke. So what I wanted to do is put it on each one of the little circles there. Hey, Nicole. Thank you, Sharon. I will make sure to get you guys all on the special wheel. So, so Diamond Dust the Wings, do we want, do you guys, I'm not doing too bad, still trying to fully heal from being sick. Oh, so Diamond Dust the Wings, do you think I should put any of the blue Prussian though into the fabric or no? And then, like I said, I do want to put the coffee in on each one of the little, I think the shimmer is perfect. So leave it alone, Luca's Grammy. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. No, no, it's perfect. Okay, so that's perfect. So leave the angel alone. Look at y'all. It's got an eyebrow. We got to fix that. <laughs> Oh, no, we can't have an eyebrow. Do you guys see it? It's right here. You see the gold stuck to it, and it's got an arched eyebrow. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So now not only does he have a beard... But now he had a art. He was having an arched eyebrow. What on earth? Hi, Lynn. You spread the chaos. Thank you. I wish I knew about your affiliates. I ordered before your live. It's okay, Sandra. Thank you, Dana. Confused, is he? <laughs> Pluck it. <laughs> That's okay. So you guys have until the eleventh. If you guys use it again. Or if you guys purchase anything again um, before the 11th, just let me know and I will put you guys, because that will give me time to do all these castings and put together a fun little um, Happy Mail package too. And then like I said, we'll do it on that. I know. Maybe it was an Odie hair because it, it was a small like, gray hair. I don't know. All right. So let's get these down on here. So I'm just going to go on all of the, they're like circles, which that wasn't, that was, I was like, why is that one so close? So just right here just so when the light hits it it'll give it a little bit of sparkle so come on down do you guys see what i'm doing so they're right here Dog hair flies everywhere. Oh, don't even. Shh. Onyx's hair. Oh, God. man, oh, man, oh, man. I feel like I am always inhaling her hair. It's craziness. And right now, it's, it's really, really bad right now. Like, she needs to be... She needs to go and have her, um, her undercoat done because it's so bad right now. And it's so bad that like when we're in the car and I put the window down, I could see little hairs flying around. I'm like, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. I can't have it. I think I was talking to Nicole. Was it was I talking to you, Nicole, the other day? And I was kept 
swatting at my face. And I was like, I think there's a hair, <laughs> there's an onyx hair on my face and I can't see it. I have two shedders, so much hair. Yes, where do you get? Um, the mirror, Amy, is from Hobby Lobby. It was just a plain whitewashed mirror. And then I put Would You Been trim on it. And um, everything that I use on it is in the description. I guess I could have put the, I will put the mirror in there too. It's just an 11 by 11 square mirror frame from Hobby Lobby. Actually, I think I still have the, the skew on the back here. I can give it to you. You have cat hair? Yeah. Sorry, guys. Let me, get, let me get that off. Got to take that off. I've been forgetting that between the dog and me, we could make a rug out of... <laughs> yeah, that's not even counting, you know, whatever hair I lose. I remember, because I've, well, for the most of my life, I've always had really long hair. Um, there was a period where I kept it short um, in middle school, but for the most part, it's always been long. And a lot of that was because when I was younger, my dad wouldn't allow me to cut hair. I remember when we just, you know, when bangs were the thing and I wanted to get bangs so bad and he was like, nope. Wouldn't let me do it. Couldn't do it. But I remember him sweeping one day and there was hair and he on the floor. Why don't you cut your hair? Really? Mom! <laughs> Daddy said I can cut my hair. I remember we went and I got bangs. Woo. Pops was a little mad, but he said, he said to cut my hair. I will. I have to go. Okay, Leona, thank you for being here. I lost a lot of hair myself. I guess as you get older, you lose hair. I love my short hair. If I need longer hair, I put it in a wig. You know what? I And it's funny because you guys know I, I lost my hair. You know, I went, I was completely bald three times. So every time, you know, my friend came back and I got new chemo, I lost all my hair. So I was, I was bald three times, completely bald. And, um, during that time I was living in Las Vegas and a wig in Las Vegas, let me tell you what is not the business. So I, that was another time. I forgot about that time. Duh. I, that was another time that, you know, as it was growing out, obviously it was short, but, but typically it always had long hair. But yeah, wearing a wig in Las Vegas in the dead of summer. Whoo. Lordy B. Not to mention the wig cap underneath, you know, and hoo -hoo -hoo. yes, Juicy, it, it, three times, three times. It's like, really? Again? <laughs> Again? I missed one little one down here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. All right. So. Okay, let's make sure I didn't, whoops, I didn't miss any because some of the, um, the leaves I thought were, it had that little ball and it wasn't. There we go. Okay. So I just want to make sure I didn't miss any. 
Because the only other ones would be these. I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to put them on there, but they're part of the leaves. Anyways, so I think I got them all. I think I can. I think I can. Yep, I got them all. So can you just see there? It's not a lot, right? But it's just little bits that will kind of catch the light. Thank you, Amy. I keep my hair short. It is so thick. I can't handle it long and not a lot. And not a lot of feelings in my hands. You beat C. Uh, shout out. Oh, yes, ma'am, April. He is the one. Three times it tried to mess with me. My mother used to cut our bangs one inch above our eyebrows. Oh, Julie. <laughs> so, okay, so that will be, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking, I mean, other than the trim and, you know, the paint, it's pretty simple. I don't know. The only other thing that I had pulled out, because I was looking, um, you guys know, I always... I still haven't really used this one, the heart with the cross in it. And I don't know. I was trying to think of if we could find a place for one of the crosses or, um, or this little heart. So let's put him again. I'm not going to attach him with you guys because I have to wait for those dowels. Um, because he's so heavy, like I said, I will be drilling the dowel into the board and him. So that way it doesn't, you know, fall off. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Perfect. It will pick up light from e everywhere in the evening. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That it would just kind of, you know, with the shimmer on him and then a little bit of the reflection from the little bling that it would just give it enough. So as long as it's on there straight, hold on. There we go. <laughs> so I don't know if we can find ah, some place. I mean, I don't want to just stick it on there, but I really wish that we could, there would be a place for that's a little bitty angel. That's the prayer hand. Is that the smallest one that I have? Thank you, guys. I keep my hair, the bob haircut, easy for me to handle. Yeah. Yeah. And my mom always had long hair when I was um, growing up. And she ended up, because she was losing it so much, she cut it. And then she never looked back. She was like, yep, yeah, nope. That's why my camera is crooked, because the whole stand is crooked. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we try to... So let me bring you down. It didn't. Wow, April. Should we try to put something in his hand? Should we put anything or should we just leave it just like that and be done? So let me take, I think these other ones are way too big. This one is, these two I think are the smallest that I have. I need to get more of my cross boxes really lacking here. Or we could put a little heart in his hand. Hold on, y'all. Let's see. I 
I like the heart shaped. Perfect the way it is. Perfect the way it is. You guys just want me to leave it the way it is. I don't like that one. I mean, I like it, but I think that it just kind of, we might have to leave it the way it is. Um, oh no, I don't want to crackle him. I think he's pretty. I don't want to do anything to him. I just, anything more to him. I was just looking to see if we should add anything on there, but a small cross or a small heart in his hand or See, I kind of like it there because it looks like it's holding, you know, how he's he's got it. But then I don't want it to look out of place either. Oh, how cute. I didn't even know I had him. <laughs> a little stupid. See, I wish I had, oh, I used my tiny little... All right, I guess we're just going to leave them. Oh, no, I didn't. I thought I used this tiny one. Now that one might be too tiny. All right, I guess we'll leave him the way he is. The top hand, the small cross. That's what I was looking at. Look, but I don't. I don't think they're quite small enough. I know I have smaller ones, but I don't think they're quite small enough. Look. Hi, Tina. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the stars, Helen. Thank you. I don't know. What do you guys think? I personally, that looks beautiful. Stunning. Love it. It's gorgeous. So with it up there, you guys. No cross. No. Okay. All right. I don't know what's happening, but the camera is all kind of co cockeyed today. Yep. Nope. The heart with the cross in it. Oh, this one? Leave it alone. It looks beautiful as is. Okay. Okay, too big. I do too, Jamie. I kind of feel if it was just a little bit tinier, like, you know, more like a little delicate it, uh, cross, then it wouldn't be so like, oh, you just stuck a cross on there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think because they're just a little bit too big. Maybe if I find an itty bitty one, because these are just my totally dazzled. I have a big, you know, the big thing of, of, uh, bling that I have on the and the other stuff. So I like the cross a lot. You did, Amy. You know what I could also do is I could also like when I do an auction, if somebody wants me to put the cross, you know, up there, I could also do that. <clears throat> Just because, you know, I never know if anybody likes it or not. But anyhow, so today was um, quick and easy. We had to do quick and easy today, right? Because uh, I got surprised. So please, 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 please come back right here. Same place at four o'clock 
which is, um, yeah, I think so, Sandra, just because somebody might not even want it on there, and then somebody might, you know, want something else. So, um, yeah, off to school. So, please, please, please come back in two hours, same place, um, and then we will do um, our bling special with team bff bling special and then again um if you are um over there you know i'll be writing your names down and then also i appreciate everybody who you know any of my links you guys know i always appreciate it if you use any of my links it just helps me to keep creating i know you hear that all the time but it's really true especially for like you know, I'm not, I'm a, I'm a small, I'm a small fry. I'm a small fry, y'all. So, you know, it just, it's just a little bit that helps. So my way to give back to you guys is that's why I always try to do some happy mail or something. So if you do use the Totally Dazzle, please make sure you tell me because I am going to put a pretty special little happy mail bag together for that. And then, like I said, um, that will be until the 11th, and then we'll do a special wheel on the 11th for that. So, anyways, I is the bling special on a different page of Europe. Nope, you can come right back right here, Amy. You can come right here, right back right here. Um, so, if you are on my Telegram, please, um, if you don't have my Telegram, please sign up for Telegram because I always put the link in there, too. So, you can don't even have to go anywhere else. You can just click on it. I don't need an excuse to buy Totally Dazzled. <laughs> you are the most generous crafter out. Thanks, Julie. No code word. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think so because I will be there, so I will be backstage and be able to see all your names. So in order to not disrupt her, because I know she, you know, there's going to be a lot. I will just start writing down everything. So yeah. So again, if you use my link, send me a message. Send me a, a private message if you use it. And if you're not busy, come back in two hours and we'll give some love to our Miss Monica, especially because it sounds like today wasn't a good day either. So we got to make her laugh and feel all the love, right? All righty, y'all. I'm off to go do my second drive of the day and then third and the fourth and the fifth and the sixth and the... See you in a couple hours. Talk to you later.